in the Dura. It's not fixed. Still in the hall. If you want to go ahead and show the CSF leak repair. Yeah, I, think yeah, I am okay already ready with the case. No, because I don't know what time the buses will come. So, if they are not going to come before 7.30, quarter to 8. Yeah, they are not going to. Have they will no come by quarter to 8 and we'll leave uh, 8 o'clock. So, so, I mean, even if you are a little longer, when the buses come, I think we'll tell, announce and the delegates will go to the van. Yeah. Because outside, uh, we have now nothing for them. Okay, so let's be with the case. Yeah, so are you getting the picture, you Ashish? Case? Ashish. We are getting it beautifully. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this case basically is a CSF leak. Uh, it was spontaneous. There was no history of trauma. And uh, the scan is showing, the CT cysternogram is showing a leak from the anterior part of the ethmoid roof. So for uh, any leak from the cribriform plate, our uh, approach is same. Here, I would like to Please. get me, get me, get me this thing. Yes. So what all you have to do is to expose the area, do the ethmoidectomy, remove the part of the yes. middle turbinate, flush the area, denude the defect all around, and place the graft. And of course, flap. Okay. It depends upon the size of the thing. First, uh, fat and then graft. If this defect in this particular case is not looking very big, so probably will not need any uh, extensive repair. So for ethmoidectomy, as I showed in the cadaver, I think I should move it fast. Back biting. First I will do unsynectomy here. Ashish? Yeah, Satish, yeah. tell me, I am here. Yeah. Karo, karo. Yeah, yeah, can somebody show the CT, CT picture? Yes. So this is the maxillary sinus. Yeah, oh. Okay. Hello. This is for the delegate Satish, don't get disturbed. The, the banquet venue is about 10 kilometers away from here, not too far, but the buses will take you all. You will need to take uh, cabs or uh, autos or anything. Just Ashish. be patient, I think, at an appropriate time, we will make the announcement. And, yeah. I would rather recommend yeah. delegates to go by the buses only, as we have arranged yeah, yeah. the buses for all the delegates. We have arranged around 25 buses, and after 10.30, the buses will start coming back to the auditorium and from auditorium okay. there will be taxis to drop the audience back to their respective hotels. So no need to okay. worry about the how to get back to the hotel Transport. after the dinner. Both ways. Okay. Yeah. Satish. Yeah. Satish. This is the first time I am seeing a demonstrator making a program announcement himself. And removing the middle third of the uncinet. Removing the? In the first time I am hearing a demonstrator making a program announcement <laughs> and also removing the middle third of the uncinet <laughs> simultaneously. You have seen me how I work, so it's nothing. You will know in June 2014. You are also doing a big show. <laughs> Okay, there's another announcement I'm supposed to make. Okay. Northwest Zone sit, AOI sit, Con. 5th, 6th September 2013. This is going to be in Srinagar, Kashmir. Organized by Department of ENT and Head and Neck Surgery, Government Medical College. I believe the brochures have been kept there. But So who is interested, please uh, register for that. Ashish. Guest faculty Satish Jain and Sharma. Counter number two is where they have the registration counter for uh, registration for the conference at Kashmir. Anything you want to say, sir? Uh, I'm Dr. Farooq from SMH Srinagar. I welcome yeah, you to the, the conference at uh, Northwest Zone in the month of September. Thank you.
हेलो हेलो सतीश आई एम नाउ चेंजिंग टू सेवेंटी डिग्री आई एम चेंजिंग टू सेवेंटी डिग्री नाउ आई हैव डन द एथमोइड एक्ट मी नॉट कंप्लीट बट दिस इज गुड इनफ टू मी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस बिकॉज माय एम इज टू फ्लश द स्कल बेस अराउंड द डिफेक्ट सो दिस इज द रफली एथमोइड एक्ट मी नीड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस I am going fast. I know where my skull base is. Okay, fantastic. फोर्सेप्स एंगल फोर्सेप्स हेलो एंगल हाय सतीश बॉस या हेलो कैन यू प्लीज टेल अस दैट वेयर एग्जैक्टली द डिफेक्ट इज एंड हाउ बिग इट इज आई हैव नॉट इवन सीन आई हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग द इथमॉइड एक्ट मी पार्ट broadly so that i can concentrate on the defect so this is something a usual part which is required to be done anyway where the defect is wherever the defect is fine yes satish was there a suprabullar recess in this case suprabullar suprabullar recess I have removed the bulla. Okay, the part is directly shown there. Hmm. Okay. Pardon what? Bulla, nikala yes. apne. Yes, yes. Bulla, hatai apne. Yeah. Okay. I didn't concentrate on the that that part of the anatomy because that has to be removed. And in this case, my aim is to flush the skull base. I am not going to the details of the endoscopic sinus surgery part. Yeah. Can you see the entrance model artery? Very nicely. Yeah. Yeah. The marrow cell, please. Ready. Marrow cell is ready. Yes. No. Get me the zero degree. Can so I'll go to the scans now, and then we'll see what exactly we need to work. Straight suction. I'm back with the zero degree. Straight, straight the bride. Yes, yes. Say the bladder, please. See the area of the spinal artery in close-up. Here is the skull base. This is a part of the remaining entrance model cells. Here, this is the part of the turbinate. The cells here. Now I can appreciate the defect. Can you? हेलो 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 यस हेलो या वी आर हियर कैन यू सी द डिफेक्ट ऑफ द स्कल बेस 
Yes, Satish. Just do some instruction there. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. First of all, now I will remove the turbinate. So just I will remove it flush. this point let's go back to the CT I need to orient myself yeah. where exactly I need to work see can you bring yes. the external camera please yeah uh, hello hello yes sir yeah if we go yes, back Dr. Uh, from the coronal sections the first picture going behind it's not, are you with me? It's not very clear to us. It's it's not very clear to Can us. Can you focus here? Can you focus? Can you focus? Here, focus this. Is it okay, clear now? It's focused on this slide. Is the no, picture? the picture is not very clear though. The camera cable is not good. Somebody can pull it out and put it again. There is some loose contact. Loose contact. Loose in the contact. cable. We are not getting the uh, good quality picture. Somewhere that cable is uh, not good cable in the theater. Now, now we have lost the picture. Lost the picture. Audio visual. Audio visual. Are you getting the picture? No. The external camera cable is out. Yeah, yeah, they are sorting out. Yeah, change the camera. Yes, uh, no, that is endoscopic picture. Okay. No. No, no, picture. no. No picture? We are not getting the picture, but we are getting endoscopic picture is okay. That means from theater to the auditorium, it is good. Inside no, no. the theater, there is problem. Camera. Problem is with the external, external camera. external camera, please. Yeah. Boss, bear with us. The audio visual guy is changing to no the problem. camera. No problem. We'll wait. No, no. No signal. Yes, yeah. we got it now. Got it now? So, see. Yes. On the scans, when you go from anterior to posterior, See the first yes. part where we see the evidence of defect is in this part of the anterior ethmoid. This is anterior ethmoid. Mm -hmm. We can see the first part of the middle turbinate. See the maxillary sinus going okay. behind. Now okay. you see the larger cells are coming and this looks like the ground lamella. And it is very close yeah. to the anterior ethmoidal artery. Yes. And yes. see now where the posterior ethmoidal roof start, it is intact. So defect is not yes. very big. These are two millimeter sections. So it looks like roughly six millimeter defect according to the CT scan. Yes. So, to me, it's not very big a defect. And let's see, there could be some small encephalo seal as well. Hello. Hello. So isn't this a cribriform defect rather than an ethmoidal defect? Yeah, to me this yeah. area, I that, need to see into this area according to the scans. That, that, that's the meningocytic herniation. Pardon? That is the meningocyl. Satish? Yeah, yeah, this looks meningocyl like meningocyl. Meningocyl is just in front of you. That is it. Yes, this. yes. So this is the area. That is the meningocyl. Yeah. Yes. Can yeah. you see? Yeah, I can yes. see the... One is anterior, one is posterior to the anterior yeah. ethmoidal artery. There are two meningocyls here. So, give me the... Scissors first. I'll cut the turbinate mm -hmm. here. Flush with the meningo seal like this. See? 
it was my instrument manipulation that punctured the meningo seal and to me it looks like a high pressure leak can you see yes yes it looks Good. like a high pressure leak satish do, do you study the csf pressure before this uh, surgery for this case of yeah, continuous high pressure leak management is something very very complex and different debatable thing to, put a lot spend. of people yes. but i would prefer to use lumbar drain in this high pressure leak for some time the management of the high pressure leak see now after removal of this part of the middle turbinate i'll flush the area all around the bladder This is the part of the turbinate which we can easily remove now. Yes. Yes. This is. Hello. Now, once I have seen the defect, the meningo seal. Now I know my area of target. Where I have to work, seal cut. See, it looks like a high yes. pressure leak. What do you say? Boss? Yes, you are absolutely right. Our protocol in high pressure leaks is to put a lumbar drain for few days. So, to keep the pressure low in the immediate post-operative period for the leak uh, seal to work effectively. Number one. then of course you need to remove the drain after few days yes. also stabilize the keep them on the diamox or something but yes keeping an eye on the high pressure symptoms if the high pressure symptoms develop you need to go for uh, send for the vp shunt what do you say pankaj boss yes okay, absolutely okay, let's right let's see uh, uh, the neurosurgeon's sir. opinion Sir, Dr. Sethi. Yes. No, no, he is not there. Dr. Sethi is not there. So, could you see the two sacs? Yeah, yeah, two sacs. Forty. And looks like Duel. some part of the bone intact in between these two. Yes. I am not yes. sure. So, see, I remove this middle turbinate to go around this area to make the surrounding area raw and prepare for the grafting. Yeah, look at this again. Looks like three. No, oh, are they separate or same? Yes. One, two, and three. This is. But the turn to be a one defect. That's really what the feature is. Oh. Ah, very fine. Give me the mirror cell. Bipolar ready. Uh, our other team has already harvested the fat and glue is ready so we won't take long so first of all i'll bipolarize that's good the meningo seal itself and the surrounding okay. area are you going to join the defect or no pardon are you going to join the defect i mean Let's see i have not both the defects Why? There are quite two, three millimeters away from each other. Let's do the see the bipolar. That will show us. Repeated lumbar drain. Repeated lumbar. Yeah. According to my uh, neurosurgeon, Doctor Pankaj, their philosophy is post-operatively they drain the CSF or they do lumbar drain repeatedly every other day or. like that at different level yeah and they believe that okay. this repeated lumbar drain opens up the csf circulation pathway in the is it in the subcutaneous plane something like that so that is another Fine. way to manage the high pressure leak okay
or not successful, then you put a thecopaidone and shunt over there. Yeah, see, I am removing the mucosa. Can you see the surrounding mucosa? Being removed. This is yes, the anterior, yes. this is the area of the anterior caudal artery. So this yes. is the lateral yes. lamella of the cribriform. Yes, that is a very yes. Yeah, that that's the lateral lamella, lamella of the cribriform. And this is very where thin. the anterior caudal artery perforates, which is the thinnest part of the skull yes. base. Yes. So leak is in that situation. Yeah, so according to Dr. Pankaj, this is the commonest place for the high pressure leak or secondary to benign because intracranial hypertension. Yes. That, is, that is the area. thinnest part of the skull base. Yeah, bipolar. I want to denude the surrounding area. I am working right over the entire model artery, but I know I am safe here with my divider. Hello? Okay. So now, one side, bipolar. Which one? Like, where is the bipolar? Section, section. Either, either, either. Section. Yes, I am bipolarizing the Meningo seal first. The surrounding septal side, I want to cauterize all this mucosa. This is another Meningo seal. Sometime bipolar itself closes the leak. See, this is lateral lamella of the cribriform. Is Ashish there? Yeah, Satish. Yeah. Yes, Ashish. This is lateral yes, lamella. Yes, master. And see what I am trying to yeah. say. This bipolarization yeah. itself. Yeah, it has sealed everything. Yeah, if you. Take the lips of the defect together and bipolarize, it mm. works very effectively. See, yeah. so my aim is to make this or denude this area so that I can place my graft over it. So, only thing required is to make sure or to denude this area completely that no mucosa should remain underneath the graft. Now, the question in this Situation of multiple meningo seals, mening or what should be the approach? Like, see, there are no, there is no single big defect. See now, the bipolarization yeah. itself has worked and there is a small leak coming from above. Let's concentrate on that. Yeah, yeah. Probably this could be a high pressure leak then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Multiple meningo seals. Yeah. Satish. Yeah. If it is a high pressure leak, it is. What would you advise in the follow up? Pardon? 
you would advise multiple lumbar punctures in follow up huh? multiple lumbar puncture yeah in follow up if it is a high pressure leak yeah i in this particular situation we have two options yeah either to place a lumbar drain straight away for few days yeah. or you can follow with multiple lumbar punctures okay that to at regular intervals like every other day or something yeah at different level at yeah. different different levels to develop the multiple fistulas multiple fistulas yeah. that's why that's how you wanted to want to get the recirculation uh, satish i uh, don't know this philosophy which cord exactly are you using pardon which cordery are you using i am using the this is a calstos bipolar okay ne cordery machine nahi nahi yaar not the machine the, the forceps 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 is the calstos bipolar yeah, yeah. simple bipolar okay there are variety of bipolars yeah. available now Uh, okay, I've okay. got a special Amin Kasam designed bipolar from the Carl Stores, yeah. where you have very fine yeah. tips, and that is valuable yeah. when you work intracranially, particularly for the perforators and all. Okay. Here I am happy with this particular forceps. This is very good rotatable tips. See, Sathi, as we know, yeah, uh, the bone superior looks very loose. What? With the dural pulsation, this will not stay probably. So I think you have to remove that uh, piece of bone and replace with the cartilage probably. That bone you are touching that is very loose. This bone is not going to stay with the uh, dural pulsation. Yeah. This bone yeah. is loose. You mean to say? This yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is lateral lamella of the cribriform. Yeah. That is a very very, very thin. Uh, yeah, it's very very thin yeah, bone. Yeah, yeah. So you you have to reinforce. You have to reinforce that bone. Uh, so from the as such, there is no large uh, area of bone loss. You see, okay. Let's uh, see the size of the defect in terms of bony loss. As such, there is no large area of bone loss. Reinforcing. with the bone is not going to help you in this particular situation i agree with you when the bone loss is too much then obviously you require a bony support to the defect but in this condition there are multiple small small mucosal the bone loss is not significant and see if after bipolarization you don't even know where the meningocele were coming from see So there, those were very very small. The size of meningocele which we are seeing were out pouching from a very small defect. So uh, there is Agreed. no any uh, significant visible loss. Got my point, sir? So right. I don't think any bony so reinforcement would, would you, is going to help. Would you like to identify the exact site and the size of the defect by removing all that tissue? Removing all? Uh, would you like to uh, remove all the tissue, make the bone bare, and That's identify what I'm the doing. exact That's what I'm the doing. site of the defect? Right, so, how is that going to alter your management? First of all, once we know the defect is very very small, see right. if we try to remove all this, we'll rather worsen the situation. Right. Simply. See this lateral In lamella. Point. This is completely bare. Can you see this? Entire bone moving. Yes. Can you see this? Right. So this is completely right. intact. This side the nasal septum and this is the cribriform area, the horizontal right. lamella from where the leak is coming, and I don't right. see any. Uh, Like what bone loss. kind of closure are you planning, sir? What kind of closure are you I, planning? I am going to leave some amount of fat in this area, 
and then reinforce with the overlay flap obviously there is o overlay yeah there is no defect to introduce the fat inside considering that this is a high pressure i would pressure definitely leak, would do you what you are suggesting chalne i would definitely do what you are suggesting that is always good but that is possible when you have a defect to introduce the fat inside not not working right okay. but hello yes sir yeah could you see any but, defect so usually in such circumstances to insert the fat inside i yes, don't we, see? we would definitely no no the point re remains that if you raise a good flap <coughs> and uh, elevate that mucosa and okay. identify the bare bone of the cribriform you would definitely identify enlarged foramina in this case yes in this case okay let's see section okay let me remove this cauterize mucosa and second thing probably what we would gain is we we can attain a much solid seal you know uh if we have a good uh, uh, view of the foramina which is actively leaking uh, i don't expect Sadish. any bigger foramina in Sadish, this uh, tell me why yeah. the lateral lamina has become weak tell me why why become lateral weak lateral lamina has become weak it is loose why it has become loose because of dural pulsations constant dural pulsations and these are coming out to the that's why it has become weak so it, whatever seal you are going to do a weak weak uh, seal will definitely come out you have to do a triple layer closure see as solid as layer this, closure and see, and probably what? the i will I, i would like to have a rather than a dead mucosa i would like to have a septal flap to cover that i that's I what take a UK that's what i was saying i would definitely cover that is the best way but for that you need to have a defect see this lateral lamina is pretty intact see this here and that is the bone from here to here there is no defect into it the defect is somewhere here within the horizontal lamella of the cribriform and that too here where the olfactory filaments come out so there is do i am going to remove all this mucosa what i have cauterized but believe me that is going to worsen the situation this kind of small meningo seal bipolar hello yeah satish satish yes boss uh, can you just put can you just put a small ball probe and uh, palpate there and if there's no defect there's no point in creating a defect and we have seen such leaks even megana agrees with me that probably putting a layer of even turbinate mucosa yeah this would do very well yeah yeah so just palpate yeah. with a ball probe and see if there's a defect okay yeah That's i think sure. the scan is also showing there's not much of a no, defect no, i would definitely go along so with dr vinod pandya area. had i seen a defect so even if you satish yeah in this area the bone will be thin if you try to make a Uh, hole and try to put something inside. You keep increasing the. See defect. now, see my the, movement the of the ball keep, probe. Keep falling out. See my movement of the yes. ball probe. The entire bone is. Yeah. Intact. Yeah. This is the area where the meningo seal were coming out. Here, that is. Yes. I am going to still bipolarize. That is the only area of. If you. Uh, and as we all know, meningo seals are like the ears. The only area will be big, but the defect will be very small. Yeah, that's very small here. Yeah, I'm sure such uh, curve, curve, angle forces, angle forces. This is too small. There, this is less than three mm. Believe me, if it is, and they do very well with any graft you take. Once you bipolarize the area. Oh, no bipolar lemon
you once you bipolarize this whatever meningo seal coming out it shrinks we have a impression there could be a bigger defect but it was basically the meningo seal which was looking big the defect is not big meningo seal can be very big to occupy the entire nasal cavity but once you bipolarize it remove it you'll see a defect that too very small also if the defect becomes big at this place you cannot keep the cartilage intracranially also uh, supporting yeah, there is no space to introduce because anything there is no again. space uh, it's it's a it's you can put it on the fovea the yes, uh, roof of the ethmoid but not on the lateral lamella of the cuboform plate in this place you cannot put a cartilage also and also you are very close to the entrit model artery by chance yeah, yeah. if it gets injured unnecessarily you will have another problem uh, that i am least bothered about the entrit model artery here because at this end at the most if the artery punctures you can easily handle the bleeding the concern is at the lateral end where it exits the orbit where it yes in an unfortunate situation happens to get retracted then it is a big concern bleeding is never a concern yes. with the entrit model artery and at the medial end the concern is csf leak which is already we are dealing with so i am least bothered about the anterior model artery in this particular now you see okay. there is no csf Satish leak at brief. all can you if i yes agreed no leak at all so i am going to place a agreed, little bit of agreed. small but, small pieces of but but you have to put at least a mucosa there yeah yes definitely i am going to i have already harvested how oh, the glue lot i have harvested the, 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 give me the scissors i will cut my fat into very very small pieces to spread on this okay. area yeah yeah so do you uh, um some taste that the gate the plate is top valve or menu or something like that could we do it right now yes we can do it that's a very good okay. point okay i think that is the yeah. situation we should do it there is no harm in that that is one of the yeah. way to find out the leaks we can do it but valve is mentioned if you are going to repair a csf leak or you have a doubt of csf leak but you are not able to find that in that situation valsal was certainly helps here we know that there was a Hello. leak we could see the leak we have bipolarized okay. it and we intend to repair it rather than finding if there okay. is a leak yeah hello hello uh, can you show us the corresponding side uh, side at the opposite side okay after decongestion okay okay boss thank you no yeah yeah i am doing that okay see on the opposite side if we retract the middle turbinate it's perfect yeah it's perfect yes on the scans also there was no evidence of any leak or something but to me this side the leak has completely stopped and see the bipolar right. is the treatment in case if you have a small small meningo seals see now what simply i am going to do is the last point was on the valsalva maneuver is a very good point but that is required to be done when like if you are doing endoscopic sinus surgery you have a doubt of giving a csf leak but you are not able to find it then in case you raise the intracranial pressure and look for that second thing is ye ye the chota the here in this situation we already saw the leak clearly we saw the csf gushing out we have bipolarized the area 
and we see there is no CSF leak, then why to disturb it with the wall salva? Right. I am using small, small pieces so of aim, fat. Right. So the aim here would be to uh, uh, create some fibrosis in this area to uh, ultimately um, yes. stop the CSF, yes. isn't it? No, only thing uh, the, where the entire success depends upon is to keep the CSF pressure low. Right. All this seal to become effective. Right. As the CSF pressure remains high, still we are assuming mm -hmm. that this is a high pressure leak. But right. uh, we are not sure. But there is a possibility since it was a spontaneous CSF leak. So then right. there is always a high probability of having a uh, hello high uh, pressure leak. That is not for you. Organizing team, where is the transport guy? Transport guy? Not for you. Hello, not for you. The local push now. Oh, buses ko. We are done, no? Are we doing one more? No. No, no. For Satish? today, no, no, no. We are going Did to. Did you do <laughs> Come on, yeah. How can you say no? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Super, Satish. Thank you. And thanks to all of you for being with us. And so, abhi aap ki aawaz mein jara bolo. Transport wala kono buses lagna chahiye. Hello, Mr. Bus. Just too big a piece. Here, I am not going to use this. Uh, give me the zero degree now. Satish, with your kind permission, we are going to cut off the transmission. Yeah, one minute, Hello? Ashish. Ashish, yeah. Ashish yeah. if you want to see, yeah. I would like ah. to show how to place the graph yeah. and the glue. Just okay. two minutes. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, very sorry. Okay. And Satish, yeah. And now please don't talk about the transport arrangements when you are placing the graft. Okay. Oh, we can discuss. It doesn't affect at all. Don't worry. No, not at all. Not at all. Go ahead. They are enjoying the surgery. You go ahead. Thank you. Bro, probably half of the people more than that in the auditorium must be doing all this regularly. It's not an extraordinary situation. In CSF leaks, the most important thing is the proper identification. And second, Nothing is hard Hello. and fast regarding the repair. Depends upon Hello. so many factors. Yeah. Hello. Uh, can I ask one question? Yeah, please. What should be the ideal pressure in the post-operative period and how will you maintain it? What is the? What, what should be the ideal pressure in the post-operative period? Ideal pressure? What should be the pressure of the CSA but how, how much of the CSA will you drain in the post-operative period? Is there yeah, roughly, roughly we drain uh, say 150 ml a day, Pankaj Vospula. Let us uh, take our neurosurgeon's opinion, but to me, uh, what and, we have been doing in our what, clinical practice uh, what is... What should be the pressure of the CSF? What should be the? Uh, pressure of the CSF in the post-operative period. It should be around uh, 100 or less millimeter of mercury. Yeah, boss, they want, they are asking how much of CSF you should drain in post operative period every day? Uh, around 100 to 120 ml. So, according to our neurosurgeon, 100 to 120 ml. And how, how you regulate this? No, no, uh, the pressure, pressure, how much pressure you want? No, how much pressure you want to maintain in the post of it? The question is this. How much pressure? Yeah. yeah that is the question. Uh, hmm? like if it is, a, it is a, at the level of the head, hmm? uh, if any, any increase in pressure, hmm? uh, that will, uh, there will be a drainage of CSF. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Hello? 
Yeah, we are here. So about the regulation of the CSF pressure. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, we are here. Yeah, the now answer we can hear. answer from the neurosurgeon is you keep the CSF yeah. CSF place at the level of the head of the patient. The movement pressure yeah. raises above that, the CSF will start draining. That is the simple philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to monitor the pressure as such. Okay. You leave the bag at the level of the patient head. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, is there any clear definition for high flow leak? How can you say it's a high flow leak? No, I am not sure. I am assuming the way the gush of the CSF was there on the meningo seal and with the background of a spontaneous mm -hmm. leak. So we can assume there is a high probability of having a high pressure leak. We are not sure unless we do a lumbar puncture intraoperatively. Now is there any guideline that should be the pressure then we can tell it's a high flow leak. Pardon? Any uh, clear definition if that should be the CSF pressure. Uh, beyond which we can say this clear cut definition of high pressure leak. Uh, yes. If the see the normal pressure of the CSF is roughly 100 to 150 micro uh, millimeter of mercury. To me, yes. high pressure is if it is crossing 200 through high pressure leak. And generally, you see high pressure leaks through high pressure leaks. Yes. When you come across a patient of high pressure leak and do a lumbar puncture. It crosses 300 or 350, but more than that. So, as such definition point of view, uh, I am not sure what is the definition in the books, but this is the practical is way of identifying now? the high pressure leak. See now, I have placed the graph, I have placed the uh, oh. fat first. We can't see anything. Gel form. Don't see anything? Not getting no. the picture? Not getting the picture. Oh, picture? What happened to picture? Change to the endoscope. Hello? Yeah, now you can see. Can you see? So, after the fat. Yes, yeah, you can see. After the uh, fat, I placed this fascia graph and now I am pouring the glue over it to keep this thing, uh, this fascia uh, and uh, whatever assembly. Dr. Shotish, which fascia have you used? Pardon, the which fascia you, uh, you use? Which, which fascia? This is facial which lata. Which fascia have you used? Facial lata. This is simply facial lata. Now over this, I am going to keep some small, small pieces of gel foam. So that whatever nasal packing we do, uh, we place below. This assembly should not be disturbed at the time of pack removal. So, I am keeping this assembly in place with the by means of gel foam pieces. Can you see? Yes, can see. Can you yes, we can see. Yeah. And over this, I am going to place a thin layer of silastic sheet. Now, I don't want any uh, by any knowingly or unknowingly this assembly to be displaced at the time of pack removal, at the time of suction or whatever. Now, I am going to place a small or uh, uh, I say, yeah, Satish. Yeah. Good, good show. Hi, boss. Nothing special. Great, great show. Thank you. Satish. Yeah. Uh, Satish. Uh, my Ashima Deepak. We are going to the hotel. Okay. So and Ashim then? is whatever arranging the transport, and then we'll come there at whatever eight. We we'll leave from the hotel. Okay, I have told coming. Amin to be ready by 8. Yeah. Ah, so, after that, after that, phone kar, but my battery is almost dead. So, okay. call on Ashim or Deepak. I am done. See, just I placed this okay. elastic sheet. Now, I am going to place the marrow cell. That's all about it. 
like this. See this? So once I remove the mirror cell, the whole assembly is not going to be disturbed. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Hello, Satish. Hello. Hello. Ah, Dr. Saxena here from Bevadi. Yes, boss. Ah, nice job. Nice, very nicely done. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thanks to everyone for thank the thank kind attention. Thank you. See you at dinner. Yes, boss. <laughs>